Hello folks, this is Anthony once again. Today I'm going to show you something that's highly recommended. Installing a grease zerk in your final drive gearbox right here. This gearbox, what runs your tracks, and you pump in new grease every year, and it will hopefully it will help your gearbox last a lot longer. The gearbox repair is about six hundred to eight hundred dollars, depending on parts. So let me show you why first. Why you need this? I'm going to show you a gearbox here that I opened up. I'm rebuilding it right now. I didn't clean out any of the grease. This is all the original grease that was in the gearbox. This gearbox is probably about 20 years old. It has very little grease in it. So after we re uh, install the grease zerk and pump in some new grease, run the machine, the grease will get all over here. And keep this all well lubricated. You got your pin on your axle and all your gears and bearings and everything. So if you put in new grease, everything will get coated with the grease. And the machine, the gearbox, probably will have a longer life. More, more shops are always uh, recommending this now. Some shops are including it in their service now. So let me, uh, okay, let's see what you need for this. Almost anybody can do this. What you need is some grease. I use this uh, Valvoline Crimson uh, Tacky Red Grease. Uh, one of the members suggested Lucas Red and Tacky. That's probably pretty good also. Uh, low temperature grease. I got a grease gun right here. I'm going to have a, a, a punch to make a mark before I drill. I've got my drill. It's got an 11, uh, what is it? 1364. 1364 drill bit or number six HSS drill bit to drill the hole. And then I have a M6 by one tap to tap it. Then once I've tapped it, I use this eight millimeter socket to screw in my, my grease zerk. After I screw in the grease zerk, then I pump in the new grease. So let's start with uh, this first. I'm gonna make a mark right here you see this plate you can take it off you don't have to I can I can make the mark here for the drill to guide the drill but I'm gonna take this off so that it's easier for you folks to see here's the gearbox that I'm talking about this drives your tracks I will right, we'll put this aside so I made the mark for the for the drill bit, okay? Now what I do, now this question gets asked all the time when people come over and I install it for them. They say, how do you keep the the filings out of the gearbox? So what you do is you you dip it in a little bit of grease here, and this will catch the filings when you pull it out. So let me see if you can see this. I'm going to do it nice and slow. Don't need too much pressure because you're going into aluminum. Okay, it's working. See? Nice and slow. You don't have to do it hard. You don't have to do it fast. You can almost feel when it's going to go through. All right, see? Now you can see there's no filings there. It's all caught on your drill bit. Now, in the case, sometimes I have I uh, have filings in there, you know. So, see, I got a couple filings in there. I'll use a Q-tip and push in the Q-tip, and it will grab the filings and pull it out. 
So now I've got a clean hole. Now I want to use my M6 by 1 tap. And I put it on the, on the end. I've got this uh, fitting here so I can use my uh, socket, my wrench, my ratchet wrench. You can use another tool for this that will grab. This is a specific tool that you can uh, use to, to anchor your, your tap and, and turn it in. So I'm going to put it in here. Don't push down too hard. Just start tightening it in there. And you'll feel when it starts to bite. I hope you're seeing this. You can feel that it's biting and that it's working. Okay? And then once once you get it all the way through, it's the, the gear case itself is not that thick. It will get very loose and then you know that you've got it in there. So you can reverse it out. Let me take the wrench off. I can do it by hand and pull at the same time a little bit of pull. Okay, so now now you got your tap done. You see how easy this is? Uh, the only thing that's stopping most people is the tools. Huh. All right, I want to go in there with my Q-tip again and clean it out. All right. Now I got my eight millimeter head uh, socket for my, this is an M6 Zerk. It will fit right in here like that. I'll put it in there and nice and easily tighten it in there. You don't want to make it too tight because if you do, then you might mess up the thread. So you want it snug, a little bit more than snug, okay? So there you go. Now it's time for the grease. Now you can't really put too much grease in here. Uh, when I rebuild the gearbox, I fill it up with grease. Uh, and if you put too much grease, it will come out here or come out, you know, in the openings. Uh, but I haven't seen that yet. But people are always asking me, can you put too much grease in here? And I said, no. But the main thing, like I said, you want to pump in new grease every fall, 20 or 30 pumps. Uh, let's see. I'll push that on there. And let's pump some in. I'll put in about 30, 20, 30. You can put as much as you want, actually. Okay. Now you got to pump in that grease. And the uh, last thing I do, I got a little rubber, a little rubber cover for the, for the, um, for the Zerk. I think you can get this at the hardware store. I buy about 50 at a time on eBay, but, uh, you put this on. That will keep the, the Zerk clean. Now, if it comes out, don't, if it comes out during operation, well, don't panic. It may get dirty, but you're not going to, no water or dirt is going to get in that grease Zerk because the only way it would get in is under pressure. So, uh, in, in the fall, next fall, when you have to put in more grease, just clean the the Zerk fitting very, very uh, thoroughly before you pump in new grease. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions or comments, please comment below. Like and subscribe as always to our Honda Snowblower Enthusiast channel. We have almost 100 videos right now so that you guys and girls can save money. Do your own work on the Honda snowblower, especially in the wintertime when the shops are all backed up and uh, you have an emergency. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.